Hi friends, today I thought we would paint, um, I found these on my walk uh, the other day and they're these little berries um, and green leaves and they're all over some of the trees now. They're really pretty and the berries are reds and kind of some golds and browns. So I thought I'd incorporate those into uh, a little wreath. So what I'm going to start off with first is I've got my uh, bowl here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the rim of that with some of my brown paint. So today I am using my My Lang set. I'm using the larger set today as you know um, they also have the 36 paints. This one has all these fun metallics and uh, it's such a great little student set to get if you want to expand on your 36 pan set. Paul Rubens has done great. So rich and creamy and vibrant. I love these and I just refill them with the Paul Rubens 2 paints. I am today using my Artisto pad. Um, this student grade pad. I love it. It's the 140 pound cold press. It just has such wonderful texture and uh, I've used a lot of student grade papers and this one is fantastic. If you don't need to see my supplies, you can just fast forward if you don't uh, you know, need some of this. But as you know, I work with a lot of beginners and I think this is important. Today, I will also be using my eight velvet round brush and maybe my six. Uh, it has a little bit thinner, longer tip for maybe some little branches and things beginners you can definitely use uh, if you have purchased this Degato set uh, because you don't want to make that investment into those Princeton this is a great little set you get 10 for $17 and then um, let's go ahead and get started make sure you've got your wash and your rinse water this is my beautiful meat and ceramic palette that I love and uh, I've also got my paper towel for blotting off my brushes. All right, the other fun thing here is I'm gonna use for the berries um, a Q-tip. I've been having a lot of fun with that lately for ornaments and bulbs, and uh, today we're gonna use them for berries. So let's start first by painting our uh, little branches and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I went ahead by the way and I just sprayed and activated my paints here and pardon me I have a cold so I might have a little bit of coughing here <coughs> so sorry about that um, so I'm just going to paint the rim I'm sure you've seen this on other tutorials it's really a great way to oops um, create a circle especially for these fun wreaths so I'm just making sure I've got that quite doused and then I'm going to create three different little circles so it looks like some twigs so let's do the first one here and then we'll do a second one kind of inside of that one and then let's put a tiny bit more paint on there and we'll just do one more. And then we'll start adding in those berries. Just wash and rinse your brush. There we go. Maybe one more. Okay. So I'm hoping that will kind of look like some twigs. It looks like I had a little bit of a bare spot down there. That's okay, we'll fill that with some berries. And then I'm just simply gonna go in, I'm just gonna wet my little Q-tip and I'm gonna go in. So I noticed um, a lot of these little berries were all different colors. They, some of them were quite pale. So I might try to go in with some of that white gouache. Let me just spray that and activate that white gouache. By the way, gouaches I don't usually really leave in my palette because it's a little thicker and um, can be a little bit harder to activate. But if you have got this My Lang palette, they've got all these beautiful oranges and reds you can choose from for your berries. 
and then let's just go in and start creating some berries. I think I'll do some pink ones. And placing these kind of randomly around your piece, maybe some of these pink ones. And I think it's kind of good that, um, you know, just keep using this same one and you'll see that it starts lightening up, which is good because we want those different values. Meaning as I keep dabbing, the paint starts lightening up, right? So I've got quite a full little berry list. Now what I want to do is go in with my, <clears throat> excuse me, six long round and just drawing in some little twigs and branches. Like so, and maybe even some olive green branches. And just using the tip of my brush and making them kind of squiggly. <coughs> Excuse me. I sure hope you guys haven't gotten this cold. It's horrendous. And just like that, look how pretty. I think it's really quite fun. And this is just so simple and would make a really pretty card. I'm going to grab a little bit of green. Maybe just add in a few tiny small leaves. I want to get more of an earthy green here. because everything's quite dormant here in Southern California. So most of the leaves are gonna either be oranges or rust type colors. And I'm just doing little dabs here and there. The other thing I wanna do before this dries too much is go into this white. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully you guys have escaped this nasty, nasty flu cold going around. It is horrible. I had COVID last year, you guys, and I don't think it was this bad. So I'm going to go in and just create a kind of opaque muted pink with the white gouache and go in and add some of those in here really loving this whole technique with the q-tip and it's just so easy and fun if you're doing crafts with your kids or with your um, grandkids like what a fun project for them. So easy for them to play. Now I have to be kind of careful. I could get kind of carried away here. And there you go. I feel like we need to use the other side without white on it. And just add in a few darker ones here and there. Maybe overlap a few. Like that. There we go. Very pretty. So make sure you're incorporating all the different values. 
so that um, you're getting some of these little berries that pop out, some that fade away into the background. And I think what I'll do is maybe, let's see what this color is. So this is in the My Lang palette. And it's uh, their metallic green. Let's see what color that is when we put it on paper here. Oh yeah, I like that. It's kind of trying to stick with a deeper green, but I really like this color. And again, these are just dabs. I'm just dabbing with my brush. Just tucking them in here and there. And look how pretty and fun. This would be a great evening little practice because it's somewhat simple but fun. And if you were a good calligrapher, you could write something inside. So I think I'm going to finish off just like that and leave it be. And then again, if you are a good calligrapher, you could write on the inside there something. But I think I think that's good. The last thing we might, because I'm constantly adding in these little metallics, is let's see if what it might look like if we add a few of those. Because, you know, I've been adding these to everything, so we might as well, right? But you could stop right here, and this is quite beautiful. Now, what I'm liking about this is it's very transparent. Yeah, I, I like this, you guys. It's transparent, but yet my eye is seeing something. So it's, yeah, you guys, I like this. I think I could add this metallic to everything. That is really pretty. I'm glad we, I tried this. So these are, again, those MAB uh, Mirror Series Metallics that we've all been playing with, and you all have been sending me your beautiful pictures and how you're using it. But I think that's quite pretty. There we go. All right. I hope you give it a try. Um, love the earthy colors with the... Um, bright colors. I think that's really pretty. And uh, make sure and check out um, any of my free drawings that I have. If you'd like a drawing for something, just let me know. And um, I will be continuing to play with these fun metallics in future uh, videos for you guys. Have fun!